Warning, the outcome of this video will result in you drawing closest to Allah and improving your religion. Viewer discretion is advised. Like certain surahs would make me cry. It would make me tear up. It really melt my heart. After I'd listen to music and I'd come back to the Quran, if I listened to that same surah, it wasn't the same anymore. And the music was doing exactly that. The Quran lost its sweetness for me. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, and oh, oh, <laughs> that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. Music led me to Islam. Before we jump into this video, guys, I, I just hope that you guys are doing well, honestly. Like, uh, I, I did not wake up thinking about this idea about what I wanted to make because I wake up like, yo, where am I going to make a video about today because I record daily videos. And uh, reading through your comments, which you know I religiously do, I read through and respond to each comment to my best ability. Um, I saw this on, on the comments, someone mentioned something about music and I'm just like, man, I've been thinking about something about music, so why not share this idea and concept about music? So uh, Jazakallah Khair and may Allah SWT reward the person who reminded me to make a video about music. I've been wanting to do this for a while now, so I appreciate you and Jazakallah Khair for all of you who are leaving comments under these videos. Wallahi, I don't care about the algorithm. I don't care about a view, I care about connecting with you guys. So thank you so much for leaving a comment underneath my videos. I don't really check my video views, so I don't know the analytics of how the videos are doing. The only thing I know is if you guys, uh, sorry I had a hair. The only thing I know, if you guys are enjoying the videos, if I see a comment from you guys underneath. So if you're enjoying these videos, drop a comment underneath. Let's jump into this video, all right? How music led me to Islam. For that, you have to know a little bit about me prior to Islam. I was a music addict, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are out there too. That's nothing special or new, is it? That's nothing new. That's nothing special. A lot of people are addicted to music, right? But I would honestly say that I, I, I treated it like a religion. And here's what I mean by that. I used to use music as my medicine, as my mood changer. Maybe some of you can vibe, maybe some of you don't. Either way, I hope you're enjoying the story. I treated music as medicine, meaning if I wanted to feel happy, there were some songs, some tracks that I would listen to to feel happy. If I was in a sad sort of mood, I would listen to certain music that for some reason kept me sad. I don't know. Was I like looking to empathize with, like why would I look for music that would empathize with me in a sad moment? Don't you think the idea is to use music to change my state? Well, for some reason, I used music to maintain that state. Isn't that interesting? Some of you guys are doing that out there too. That if you're sad, you listen to sad music instead of something that changed. I don't know, right? Sometimes we just need someone to empathize and listen to us and I feel like sometimes music can do that for us. I digress. So my relationship with music was very interesting because I used music in everything that I wanted to do. So when I had to prime myself, like I was going to a job that I hated, like I hated this job. And the only way that I can find satisfaction within this job is that, you know, 35, 40 minute ride to get to work uh, that allowed me to prime myself and get myself excited for work because I hated it. I, I genuinely wanted, I did not want to wake up for it, nothing like that at all, right? Which is interesting and a side note to all you guys out there that this is how you know if you like or don't like your job, right? And I don't care if you're a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, something professional out there. This is how I know you don't like your job and it could be job or your work environment, one of the two. But if you're not excited to wake up to do it, you're not, That that's not for you. Honest to God, I have trouble sleeping at night because of YouTube. Because I just want it to be the next day so I could film another video. I enjoy it, I love it. Teaching, as a teacher, if you know me, I'm a professionally, I'm a teacher, I'm a school teacher. I love it, I enjoy it. So if you don't have that type of love and enjoyment and excitement for it, you might wanna consider looking around a little bit more. Maybe your workspace you don't like. Maybe you like doing your job, but not at the place that you're doing your job. Does that make sense? Okay. So I found myself using music to sort of get myself in that mood and that vibe a lot. And uh, it wasn't until like I really accepted Islam and like really turned my life around and started submitting my will to Allah Azawajal that I realized that, man, there's a conflicting piece with me. Music and Quran are not mixing well. And, and this is something, I, this is not, no one taught me this, no one told me this, I didn't watch a YouTube lecture. I genuinely, and by the way, I, I came out because in your comments I read that, hey, I'm enjoying this uh, banister sort of view. 
so I came out again, right? So like I said, I listen to your comments. If you guys have any ideas for future videos as well too, please drop them in the comment section below. I would love to read them and uh, apply those comments as well, those, those suggestions. Okay, let's get back to this. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, it was in a conflicting view. It, it, was, it was a conflicting view, meaning I found trouble between you know, listening to Quran and listening to music. No one told me that. I, I just personally, I felt it, right? Because you see, music had this effect on me and perhaps it has the same effect on you. Let me know if it does or doesn't. The music helped me change my state. State meaning feeling. State of mind, state of feeling, state of being, right? It helped me change my state a lot. And so was Quran. Quran helped me do that as well. Like there were certain surahs, and tell me if this you can vibe with this as well too. That there's certain surahs that if you're feeling down, you'd like to listen to. Yes? And if you don't, then you need to develop a better relationship with the Quran. There's certain surahs that when I'm happy, I like to listen to. If not, you need to develop a better relationship with it. And this is not you. I too. SQ too. I'm, I'm Wallahi, I'm weak, right? So, I used Quran to change my state. But you know, bad habits die hard. I, I, I was like struggling with music. So I'd still listen to it. I'd still listen to music all the time. And one of my favorite rappers at the time was Kanye West. Kanye, oh man, I, I embodied him. I thought I was, I thought I was the re, re uh, what is it, re, re uh, what was the Hindu thing? The reincarnation, re, re, reincarnate, I guess. I was reincarnate Kanye, honest, honest. I was that in love and obsessed with his music. Um, I would just, you know, listen listen to his music all the time, all the time. I used his albums to heal me and to direct my life. Well, isn't that sad? Allah sends a messenger to direct our lives. Allah sends a book to direct our lives. Yet I'm using a person, a flawed human being, and look at him now. Look where he is now. Uh, honestly, if Allah didn't save me, save me from that, I probably would be just like him. I admired him that much. I followed his music that much. Allah sent us a guide, sent us a messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a book to guide us through our life. Yet I'm using rappers, mus musicians, music to guide me through my life. Isn't that something? <coughs> Excuse me. So basically, I'm listening to music now. And now that I have the Quran in my ear, and let me, not the same time, obviously, right? I have the Quran in one hand, the music in the other hand, and I'm realizing something, that things aren't lining up. Because a lot of the messages of music is contradictory to the Quran. And I know some of you could be like, well, Brother SQ, what if the music lyrics are good? I'm not talking about that. The fact that I can listen to music and it can change my state of mind, state of being, state of emotion, make me like move a little, bop a little, whatever, that shows that there's some type of hypnosis element to it. Maybe you can vibe, maybe you can't. Like I said, this is my, my addiction with music led me to Islam. Right now, yours, yours is a different story. This is Brother SQ's, okay? <clears throat> so, I realized that music has some type of effect on me. Maybe it does on YouTube. I don't know. But it's having this effect on me where it, it changes my state of being. It alters my state of mind. It almost felt like an intoxication for me. It messes with me. It makes me move. It makes me like, you know, and I'll like tap your finger. Like, you know, like when I listen to something, I get like, you know, I, I'm like vibing with them, if you get what I mean. And I realized that it was contradictory to the Quran, not just the message of the songs or the lyrics. I could have been listening to some like Usher, I don't care, like, you know, like whatever it is. But it's not about the lyrics that was doing it. It was also the music, in fact. The music itself was actually moving me away from the Quran. It made me distracted. It made me not think about Islam. But then you might be like, SQ, what if the music is, you know, leading you to Islam? Or what if the music has good positive messages or things that are leading you to remember Allah as a wajah? But the problem was the musical instruments for me. The musical instruments or the synthetic instruments, you know, the, the digital instruments, whatever it was, the beat itself was something that was triggering something for me. Because if I listened to that same track a cappella, I can guarantee you it didn't have that effect. It was kind of stupid if you because like the lyrics are actually exposed for what it is. They hide behind the beat. The lyrics are hidden behind. The, anyways. I remember I was listening to some like I think Eminem or just I think it was M at the time. And um, I was listening to it. And the message that he was saying was just like, yo, this sounds like some Illuminati stuff. You know what I mean? Like it sounded like some satanic stuff over there. And I realized that after I'd be listening to music, 
it would distort my heart and views on the Quran. It would. It would personally for me. It was distorting how I viewed the Quran. It was distorting the effects of the Quran on me. Like certain surahs would make me cry. It would make me tear up. It really melt my heart. After I'd listen to music and I'd come back to the Quran, if I listened to that same surah, it wasn't the same anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Allah alam, right? But alhamdulillah, because it led me to Islam. Remember. So. I realized that there was a connection, there was a direct correlation between listening to music and listening to the Quran. That there was something about these two things that were not mixing and matching for me personally together. Okay? I realized that the effect of the Quran is supposed to have on me because the Quran is supposed to change my state, remember? The Quran is supposed to move my emotions, move my feelings. But the Quran stopped having that effect on me. That could be because the Quran is flawed, astaghfirullah, it's definitely not that. Or it's that I'm polluting my ears. I'm polluting my ears, which is directly polluting my heart, which is preventing the Quran to have that effect on me. You see, our eyes, our ears, and even our speech, I guess, is the gateway to our heart. You see, whenever we listen into our ears, it directly goes into our heart. And not the like, do -dum, do -dum, like kind of heart, <laughs> you know? Like the metaphorical heart, the iman-filled heart, okay? What we see with our eyes directly links and connects to our heart. You understand? So if I'm seeing something or listening to something that is kind of contradictory towards Islam and the goal and the mission that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants me to have in my life, then of course it's going to affect my heart. And the music was doing exactly that. The Quran lost its sweetness for me. The Quran was no longer affecting my heart anymore. And I realized the more I was listening to music, the more calluses was being placed on my heart. It was getting hardened. It was getting rusty. Black spots were being put on it. Metaphorically, I guess, you know? It was, it, it was not the same heart. That, that used to be connected to the Quran. It, it wasn't. And I'd be lying to myself if I said it was. It wasn't. And the Quran would like shake off that rust. It would soften that heart. It would do all these things. But it was still giving me problems because I'd still listen to the music which would undo all the effects of the Quran. Hope that's making sense, guys. So here's what I had to say to you. So here's what I've done. Here's what I've done personally in my life for it, right? I can understand that it could be very difficult for you to go cold turkey without music. I get it, right? Music, and the fact that I had to say that shows you how much it is linked and connected to an intoxication and a drug. The fact that you can't go without it or struggle to go without it or need to go cold turkey and wean yourself off of it shows you its relationship to a drug. Allahu Alam. Okay. Here's what I did to help me out. I personally, to get off of music and reestablish my link with Allah and the Quran, I started limiting amount of how much music I'd listen to. Okay? Meaning, if, I want, like my daily routine was listening to music. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> See guys, these videos have no cuts. I don't, I don't want, I remember before, I was cutting a lot of my videos because I was trying to find my style and try to be myself and scripting a lot of my ideas. But I found out that I was scripting myself. I was scripting my personality. And this is who I am. You know what I mean? The hater or love it. Underdogs are on top. Yeah, come on, that was a game reference. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't. All right, see, I, I, I used to love music. Okay. So one thing that helped for me, <laughs> you guys, as you get to the point, I be seeing those comments. As you're all over the place. Do you have ADHD? You have, you're an emotional wreck. I am, I'm a very emotional person, guys. I really am. I'm a very emotional person. Uh, and I think that's why I'm able to deliver this message the way I want to deliver it. Because I am an emotional person. I'm an artist. Like my man Omar Issa says, shout out to Omar Issa. I'm an artist. I'm an artist, bruv. I'm an artist. All right. <clears throat> One thing that helped me was weaning myself off of the music. So if I knew that I listened to music maybe five hours a day, honestly, and it might just be playing and I'm not listening to it five hours a day. And a lot of you have like Spotify apps and all that stuff. Check it out. See how much you listen to it. At the end of the year, it gives you a little calculation of how much you listen to in the year. 
And wallahi, I've seen some ones once and it was crazy. It was a crazy amount of music that they listened to in a year. It was scary, honestly. See how much you listen to. Check your app, check your thing. It shows screen time, it shows you apps that are used. Check how much you listen to daily, okay? Limit it. Meaning if you're listening to it five hours a day, well, listen to it less, right? Maybe an hour a day, maybe 30 minutes a day, okay? Wean yourself off of it. That's what helped me, okay? Limit yourself. Limit yourself to only an album a day or something, whatever your limitation is for you, okay? And then increase and double the Quran, recitation and listening to it, okay? And a lot of you will say, replace listening to music with the Quran. And I'm letting you know right now, if you're someone who doesn't taste the sweetness of the Quran when they're listening to it, it's because your heart is beginning to become calloused because of the music. It's not easy. So all of you are, well, I just, I just switched from music to Quran. What's wrong with you? Maybe that was an easy switch for you, but come on now. The Quran won't have that same sweetness that the music would have for a person who's addicted to listening to music. Okay? So I'm giving you practical steps. Listen to it less. Okay? And increase the listening of the Quran because the first part of the Quran listening is just to move your heart again. Make sure it's alive. And then the next part of it is for you to actually affect you. Okay? Listen to less of it. And then actually start connecting more with the Quran. Okay? And throughout the day, if you're just like, man, I'm really craving music. Because that, that's a real thing. You can crave it. Listen to that song. Listen to it. I'm not encouraging you to listen to music. I'm just giving you practical tips to help you stop that so you can get back on the Quran. Listen to that song. And then ask yourself, what good did that give you? Did it make you feel the way? And really, introspect yourself. Like, why did I listen to that? Okay, I heard it now. What did that do for me? Introspect yourself. Why did I want to listen to it in the first place? What was I feeling? Become self-aware. And I think I, I said something about in this video, right? I can't even remember what the video was. But I'm pretty sure I said something about self-awareness over here that you should go check out. Become self-aware as to why you're feeling this way. Why you're feeling this way that you needed that song, that track to make you feel unfeel that way, right? To undo that and change your state, okay? Ask yourself why. Ask yourself, become self-aware with that. Once you become self-aware with that, you'll realize that, okay, <clears throat> I wasn't, I didn't want to listen to that song or music overall because I I'm addicted to it. It's because I was feeling a different type of way and I'm used to listening to that song or music when I am feeling that way. So now the next time I'm feeling that way, I'm going to listen to some Quran. And you know what? Have some fun with the Quran. Listen to different reciters. Listen to different reciters. Explore different reciters, right? I'm not going to compare a recital to a different rapper or something like that, astaghfirullah. But I'm going to say each reciter brings their own melody. They bring their own khushu to your Quran experience. Because it is a Quran experience. And everyone has a different Quran experience. Your difference of experience is different from my experience. So find that reciter until you find that person who really makes you feel good about the Quran. It's okay, explore a few of them, okay? And if you have some suggestions, drop them in the comment section below. But ask yourself, why was I feeling that? Okay, next time I'm feeling this state, I'm gonna listen to some Quran. Once you find your favorite reciter, then you start exploring different surahs. You find different surahs that are going to help you feel a certain type of way. So my advice to you is limit yourself. Become conscious and self-aware of your emotions and your state of being in mind when you are uh, listening to music and what causes you to listen to music. And I promise you, things will get better. Jazakallah khair guys for watching. I know this was a long one. Some of you like SQ, make your video shorter. I want to sincerely express to you that I want to make the videos as long as I want to make them. Right, I remember having a conversation with Brother Zishan from Smile to Jannah, one of my, my brothers. Like, I love this. That's my ride or die guy, you know what I mean? And we talk about this all the time, and this guy's been with me, honestly, like, whenever I felt low about it, whenever I needed direction. I mean, the intro that you see, the way of life, SQ, keep it in 100, that was done by Zishan. That's my man's over there. He does it. What? Just for the sake, he surprised me for Eid. He just surprised me because he's that kind of dude. May Allah reward him and accept from him. He does this for everyone. This is for Ali, this is for that, like that's the kind of dude he is. I remember we had a conversation about this and about length of the videos and this and that and how I should make the videos. And I remember I was telling him, bro, like I just want to make the video as long as we as I want to make the video. And it's just like, nah man, you're new, you're this, you're that, you shouldn't be doing that. And he was right. And 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 I, I was looking at my watch time a lot. 
but I've literally stopped looking at my watch time. I just stopped because I realized that it was corrupting my intention. And may Allah reward Zishan for all the mentorship that he did gave me and everything like that. And he's still giving me. I can literally WhatsApp. Oh, by the way, guys, I got a new phone. I got a new phone. I bought it off of Craigslist. Alhamdulillah, it's, it's okay. I made sure that it's okay. It's the black version. My old one was the white version. It's the same one. It's the white version. This is the one that fell in the pool. This is the black version I got now. Alhamdulillah. Make dua. Alhamdulillah. Thanks to you, though. I was able to get it. I had to spend some money on it. I didn't want to spend it. But you know, you got to do it sometimes. <coughs> Some of you might be asking, why didn't you cut this off? I don't want to cut it off. I don't want to. If you don't want to watch the videos, don't watch them. Honestly, that's the state I'm in right now, guys. I'm just, I'm in this state. And some of you have already clicked out of it. Look, that's okay with me now. Honestly, I'm just realizing that I'm, I wasn't having fun with YouTube. I wasn't. I was, I was just making videos and hoping you'd watch them and putting all this effort in to do that. And don't get me wrong, like the memes and all, that was me too. Like I was having fun with it. But I don't know. I feel like this is better. Whether you agree with it or not, whether you're like SQ, make your videos shorter, that's your opinion and you're allowed to have that. But your opinion is not going to dictate the direction of my content. You know, hate it or love it. I like using that line. Hate it or love it. This is me. And the underdogs are on top. I won't shine until the homie heart song. I can't remember. Smile. Alhamdulillah, I can't remember the lyric to that song. But I appreciate you guys listening and watching to the end of this video. If you have made it to the end of this video, by some miracle, I just want to say, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you and bless you and guide you and forgive you and unite us in paradise together. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.